Hello everyone and welcome back to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing today? Thank you very much for joining in. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing part three, hopefully the final video at attempting to recreate Lightning, and Lightning McQueen's tongue twister. Big crash from uh, the Cars 3 movie that came out earlier this summer. I want to thank you guys again for joining. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And while you are doing that, if you guys want to go check out my Twitch page, if it's excuse me, if it's more convenient for you to watch these live streams over there, I'm streaming to Twitch right now as we speak. As you can see, if you guys want to help support this channel, uh, please go check out my Patreon page. Thank you so much to Ryan Fitzy and Tommy Joyce. I really appreciate the support, guys. Thank you so much. And I'm also on Facebook and Twitter if you want to follow me on social media. And that all being said, let's dive right into today's video. I'm trying to do the Lightning McQueen Cars 3 crash once and for all. As you can see, we got his paint scheme here. We've been using this whole time with the Cup 90 mod. I know there's other uh, paint schemes for different mods that exist, but I personally think the way Lightning McQueen's body look, the Cup 90, is one of the closer body shapes. I think it's a little bit closer than the and the come out. We're going to be trying to use a uh, Ricky Waste Raceway because I figured that's a good fictional big super speedway that kind of looks similar to the one they were they had in the movie, the Los Angeles International Speedway, whatever it was, that I believe was a fictional playoff of Auto Club. But I discovered I was able to get airborne a little better uh, with Ricky Raceway. All right, now that I'm rambling, I want to think if I can't get like the perfect attempt in this video, I think I'm going to call it at three and just try to do what they did in the movie and just edit a bunch of clips together to try to make a reenact. Why is my laptop not working? All right, I'm, I'm restarting my laptop. At least I got, still got the preview on my phone. I'm going to load it back up. Ryan Fitzy, Zaire Bayer, Wildboy Adam, Fireball 390, Dale Jr. Fan Forever, DS Gaming, Maria Attila, or Attila, <laughs> Grant Overman, Alex Stewart, Alex11705, Tropical Cyclone, I like the Coca-Cola. Thanks, guys, for joining. I apologize if I miss anyone. I'll try to get more shout-outs in throughout the stream. Just as long as you guys don't spam and be excessive and annoying about it, I'll try to interact with you all between attempts. Alright, the laptop is restarted. I'm loading it back up to see if... Because just the video isn't working on my laptop. But, alright. Let's start. So, as you remember from the movie, Lightning McQueen. Racing hard to uh, catch a Cruz Ramirez, I believe his name was. Can't remember all the details of that movie off the top of my head. But when fighting hard to catch him, it looked like coming out of turn four. In whatever fictional speedway he was at blows a tire, gets into the wall, gets airborne, and flips many times going down the front stretch. So that obviously is what we're, we are going for in this video. Congrats on 300 episodes. Thank you, by the way. Bring in Maduro. I saw your suggestion for the Florida uh, 500 big one. All right. Into the wall. Oh, I tried to get airborne, but and upside down. Floated through the air a little bit, but not enough to actually get up and over. So we got to try that again. I think I hit the wall almost a little too hard. I had a stupid updates. My laptop is still not working. I'm going to try closing out Firefox and reloading it. Maybe that's it. Oh, look at the damage to lightning. Got his nose taken off. I believe there is... Someone on NN Racing a while ago posted a Cars 3 car set. I still need to download that and check it out. But the only reason I haven't done, like, the Florida 500 big one that everyone keeps suggesting I do, once I have the resources, I will do that. But the only thing that's been stopping me, I don't believe I've been able to find a car set. And even with that car set that I'm not sure is legit or not, um, I don't believe there is a MIP file, which is kind of a little add-on file for the various mods, for those not too familiar with this game. For this mod, I have the little thing the, that give you the eyes and the 
Oops. The eyes in the windshield for the mod with the up more updated cars for the Cars 3 movie. I don't believe a windshield file like that exists yet, so that's another reason why I'm just sticking with this mod. Oops. Tried clicking on YouTube to get my stream loaded back up on my laptop, and I stopped paying attention for half a second. And almost took out someone. And by the way, who watched the Packers game earlier? By the way, I know it's nothing impressive struggling and barely being able to beat the winless Browns. But, that being said, as of next week, the Packers might not suck anymore because if he is cleared to play, and since there is still a shot at making the playoffs, Rodgers will be coming back next week against the Panthers, supposedly, if he is cleared to play. So it's kind of like almost 2013, except a few weeks sooner, and the only difference is they need to win out. The Packers need to finish 10-6 and six to have a chance at making the playoffs. And I apologize right now. I'm going to rant about football for like two minutes, and then I'll be back to NASCAR and Cars 3 talk. All right, it looks like my laptop seems to be working. I just have to wait for the ad to be over. So yeah, the Packers can theoretically make the playoffs at 10-6, and six, but with how strong the NFC is this year, there are tons of teams like at the 7-6 and six or higher level. There are like five or six teams around there or higher fighting for two wildcard spots. Off the top of my head, I believe it's the Seahawks, the Lions, the Packers, the Falcons, the Panthers, and there's one other team in there. The Cowboys. Come on, start flipping. Darn it. Nothing yet. I'm doing lightning attempts. No pun intended. But basically, the Packers, if they want to make the playoffs, will need to win out, finish 10-6, and six, and they need at least two or three of those other teams that I just mentioned to lose, like, two or three out of their remaining games. So, I'm, they have a lot that needs to go their way to have a chance of making the playoffs, but... With how bad they've been since week 5, and it's now going into week 15, they're still somehow above 500 with a chance of squeaking in for a wild card spot, with Rodgers possibly coming back next week. Oh, that sucked. I don't even know why I turned left. I meant to hit the wall first. ka -chow. How haven't I said that yet? Yeah, it's an exciting game. Not gonna lie, I... It's starting to get a little demoralized. I never lost faith, though. The Packers have made plenty of 14-point comebacks in this season. Against the Bengals is one I can particularly think of, where kind of had a similar ending, except they hit the field goal at, like, the seven-yard line to win the game against the Bengals instead of that amazing catch-and-run by Devontae. The walk-off down the tunnel, Bo Jackson style. Come on, start flipping. Start flipping. There we go. Darn it. He didn't really barrel roll too much, but that, I think, is one of the first times I've actually been able to hit the wall, or I kind of grazed it in that case, but then still be able to have enough speed to do a successful blowover afterwards. I spun it like the perfect angle, too. That kind of kept me in the air as long as possible. I need to do that, except barrel roll more times. I kind of just spun around and stayed on my roof that time. Next! I haven't said that yet. Took ten minutes, but I finally said it. So, yeah. Alright, I think I'm done ranting about football. I know a lot of my NASCAR loyal viewers get annoyed when I rant football, but I try to keep it minimal on my videos that are purely racing-related. I mean, as you guys can tell, I'm no secret to, it's no secret that I love the Packers, born and raised in Wisconsin. I tried to do my reaction videos, but I didn't for this one. I did, however, whoops, I took out Chick. Chick and Lightning crash battling for the lead, coming towards the finish line. And Lightning is still spinning. Oh. Hey, I flipped. There we go. It's 
been a little bit since we had a really hard crash. I did that one on purpose if you couldn't tell. Yeah, sadly, I know this is weird, but in the... I know someone just mentioned the Vikings. In the... I think the Viking, uh, the Vikings clinched the division today, so if that is true, congrats to the Vikings for winning the NFC North. It's about time someone other than the Packers did. Yes, I know you guys won it two years ago, but before that, it was the Packers like six years in a row as well. But yeah, I believe the Vikings clinched the uh, division. No, did they? No, they lost, so they didn't. Yeah, the Vikings, I believe, lost, and weirdly, that actually hurts the Packers' chances of making the playoffs because they needed to... The Panthers are one of the teams they need to lose a bunch of games, and the Panthers won. Yeah, the five teams that the Packers need to start losing a bunch of games, the Vikings, or not the Vikings, the Lions, Seahawks, Cowboys, Panthers, and Falcons all won this week. No, Seahawks didn't. They, they're still yet to play but those other four did. So not good luck so far. The Packers aren't guaranteed to make the playoffs at all, finishing 10-6, and because the NFC is really strong this year. But they need to win out. They need to finish 10-6, and and they need, like, three or four other teams to lose, like, two out of their next three or four games. Luckily, we play two of those teams, the Panthers and the Cowboys, so they can gain uh, two games on each of those teams if they beat them, which they, the Packers have to win out, including beating the, the rest of their opponents in order to have a chance. And I'm going to unpause because there's about to be a huge wreck that I see coming. Wait for it. Boom. Yep. Jeez. It's going to be even bigger. Yep. That's got nailed upside down. Holy shnikes. All right, let's take a look at that replay. All right, so we got the failed barrel rolls first, and then I start ranting about football some more. And then I pause it and then unpause it, and then bang. I think that guy flipped. Did he? No, he didn't. I thought I heard him flipping. Jeez. I got absolutely drilled by Strip the King Weathers. One of the few characters' names that I actually do know. I know the main three from the first movie. That's basically it. Yeah, the Lions, Cowboys, Falcons, Panthers, all still in that wild. Yeah, there's six teams. Six. <laughs> six, there we go. Teams battling for two wildcard spots with three weeks of football left to go. It's going to be interesting. Alright, start flipping. Darn it. I'm trying to please you guys and actually hit the wall every attempt this time because I know the ones in the past where I was just pr pretending I hit the wall and just skipping past that part. I was getting lots of Heat for. Whoa! That was accidental. Hence the term accident. JG Gamer Dude, Snake Plays, Susan T's, and Yes Gaming, Bronson of Awesomeness, Tropical Cyclone, Jeremy Savage, Traveling Toy Guy. Zayber, your boy Pizza. <laughs> Typical. How is it going, guys? Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you haven't yet. I really appreciate the likes. I almost started quoting Oit. He's always sunny. Eh, it's always sunny there. I doubt anyone on this channel watches that show. If you don't, you should. It's good. Only if you're like 14 or 15 or older, though. I don't want anyone younger than that watching that show. Alright, so let's hit the wall, pretend I blew a tire, and then spin. Oops. 
Nope. I'm just sliding backwards on pit road at a very dangerous speed. Oh, there goes my transmission and my engine. I blew my engine doing that. Just like, thanks guys. The Man 7, Amtrak guy, 125. 125, I appreciate you watching this live. There we go. I try to do a little rhyme every chance I get. I don't think McQueen flipped on the back. If you look at that shot of him, the slow-mo flipping shot, and then the shot uh, where he's doing the rest of the barrel rolls, it's definitely the front stretch of what looks like a fictional auto club speedway at night. So I don't think it's on the back stretch. I mean, it might be in the movie, but for a look-alike uh, comparison and reenacting, I'm doing it in the front stretch because... If you look closely, you can see a grassy infield that curves down, and you see like a pit road wall. So that definitely looks like the front stretch of a fictional auto club speedway that Lightning was flipping down. We need the catchphrase. Do I have to? Do I have to say it? Get up to speed, stay in the lead, and hopefully I will succeed. Kachow. There. You guys happy? <laughs> Hits the wall, blows a tire. Come on, come on. That was like a rusty Wallace right there. Except I need to like go back up on the track while I'm flipping, so I was too far down in the infield there. Yeah, that was like a rusty Wallace. Circa, or Talladega, circa 1993. Go look up my reenactment of that if you haven't yet. It's one of my better ones I think I've ever done. Poor lightning. It's gonna need so many band-aids after that one. Alright. As good as that was for the amount of barrel rolls that I did, I need to be closer back up to the track. If I'm not gonna be on the track tumbling, I at the very least need to be like right on the apron or near it. Like similar to the uh, Maynard Troyer Daytona flip reenactments. I was a little bit further down into the infield grass than I probably should have been but it was only by about 10 or 15 feet, and the flip aspect of the reenactment was otherwise, like, perfect. So I wasn't going to take being, like, 10 or 15 feet too far to the inside of the track and just completely discredit an otherwise perfect attempt. So I'll use the same rule of thumb for this reenactment. If I can get, like, the perfect barrel rolls, but if I'm in the grass, I, I suppose I should start doing this. Come on, flip. Barrel roll. Damn it. That was, a, that was like the long one from Talladega Nights. I just kept going. <laughs> this is one of the longest wrecks I've ever seen. Let's take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of love in you. We are back here at Talladega where the long one continues. I'm so sad I remember that entire scene verbatim. <laughs> Actually, you no. Know, I'm proud that I remember that entire scene verbatim. That one was decent, but not not enough quick barrel rolls. Did a decent amount of flipping on the track, on the front stretch. Not in the infield grass, but not enough barrel rolls. Dakota Young, Kim Carson. Thanks for joining, guys. Guys and gals, I should say. Come on, come on, come on. I'll oh, get back into that. I was going to say get back up on the track, but that was a little spinny flips there. Not enough barrel rolls, and I was too far down into the, in the field of grass, so. Not quite good enough for the level of detail that I want. I'm trying to think of who in real life that looked like, but I can't think. Maybe, uh, like Ricky Rudd, 1984. Kind of those spinny... Side over side barrel rolls. Definitely. That was definitely looked like Ricky Rudd's flip. So 
So once again, that one was decent, you can say, but I, I want perfect. I want up on the track, facing the right direction, the exact amount of barrel rolls in the exact right spot. Yes, I know that's never going to happen. <laughs> Look at the slingshot I have on T. Marcus. I don't know his first name, I apologize. I don't know the fictional character, animated character's real name. How offensive I am. <laughs> I was way too far into the infield that time. I need to do the perfect spin coming off the wall to just barely clip the grass, which sends me flipping really fast, but then have the momentum or that sends me back onto the track. This one's going to be... I mean, this one, obviously, it's going to be really complex. So that's why, like the movie, I might have to do a lot of editing for this one. Have you watched the Eagles? It's funny you should mention that. I got the Eagles Rams game on right now. 24 to 14. 14 minutes left in the third quarter. Fly, Eagles, fly. Who the hell would have guessed this before the season started? That the Eagles and the Rams would be like the two strongest teams in the NFC. That and the Vikings. Eagles, Rams, Panthers, Vikings. Panthers have been decent. They just had kind of the one. Worse than usual year the last year, their Super Bowl hangover. But, uh, the Ra Panthers have never been great, but they've never been terrible, but yeah. Oh, yeah, how could I forget about the Saints? They're right up there in record. They're in the NFC, too. Who's this, the NFC? And once again, like always, what does the AFC have? The fucking Patriots, like always. The Steelers, like always. Yes, I know I'm ranting football more. And then they got the Jags, who are in a terrible division, who are having a decent year. And then, same thing with the Titans. No. They're both in the same division. I can't remember. I know both the Jags and the Titans are doing decent. Both in the playoff hunt. Once again, too far down into the infield. And no barrel rolls. Next. I would say let's go, uh, let's do one Lightning's point of view, but all you see is the back of his eyes, so that's what Lightning's view is. Actually, that's right, I can do cockpit view. Alright, so we're gonna try one attempt through Lightning's point of view. Ka-chow. Alright, he's pushing it hard, pushing it hard, trying to catch Cruz Ramirez. And oh, tire goes out into the wall. I went too far into the infield that time. I think once again that kind of looked like a, uh, like Ricky Rudd, circa 1984. I'll have to see the outside replay of what that looked like. Yep, kind of had a. 1984 Ricky Rudd-esque look to that. Alright, we gotta redo that. Oh yeah, by the way, down here, for those of you wondering why the hell is it so cold on the track, turning the temperature way down helps you get airborne way easier, thus making the attempts for this reenactment much smoother. Alright, so we split, the Packers split the AFC North this year. They lost to the Steelers and the Ravens, but beat the Bengals and the Browns, which sounds about right. The Bungles. Alright, hits the wall. Oh, how's that for a save? Keep it off the wall. Damn it, I tagged the wall. Side over side barrel rolls. 
Kyle Busch, Talladega, 2007, Nationwide? Question mark. Jesus. Holy crap. <laughs> and I obviously have the grip turned up enough to where I can flip if I get sideways at a slow enough speed. Or the right angle. I know this is really random, but there's a couple early flips in like the mid 60s, early 60s, late 60s at Daytona coming out of turn two down the back stretch where the way they started flicking, ah, flicking, flipping, looked. I combined flipping and looked. Flicking looked really similar to how I started flipping here. I'm always looking for wreck comparisons of what what one which other one it looked like then that dude comes through and absolutely drills me poor lightning look at him his mouth and his nose is all ripped off so I'm gonna get him to the plastic surgeon call whoever the Kardashians use <laughs> Winford Rutherford, Vanderspin Motorcraft, Chick Hicks. All right. Into the wall, blown tire. Nope, I went way too far to the inside. Got good barrel rolls, but I'm like almost on pit road now. I'm way too far off the track to count this one. And I think once I'm done with this video, just like I said before, if I don't have the perfect attempt, I'm just going to splice together all the attempts I have saved and just get, work with what I have and put out the best possible. Because there's not one single continuous camera shot of what Lightning's wreck looked like in the movie, so obviously mine's going to be quickly edited together with all those camera cuts too. So I might, once I get to the end of part three, since I, there's not one individual camera, continuous camera shot I have to worry about, I might just splice a bunch of clips together and do the best I can from there. Hey, strip weathers, we got the king behind me again. The fictional Richard Petty. I believe was voiced by him in real life. So kind of fictional, half fictional. All right, get back onto the track and start barrel rolling. Ah, not good enough. How sad is that? I'm like two feet shy of the start finish line. It looks like didn't even cross the start finish line. Be like Carl Edwards and get out and run. Shades of Ricky Bobby. Holy crap, I didn't even see that. There's a car with a blown engine there, I almost nailed, just sitting there right in the infield. That reminded me of, uh, shoot, what was it? Randy LaJoy in 1980, 1995 Talladega. He flipped coming into the trial, but he got clipped by a car and went over. But right as the car started wrecking, there was like a car that was almost stopped. Like going into the pits, but the cars inadvertently that started wrecking almost absolutely clobbered that car that was like parked in the inside of the track. Alrighty. I got this. Watch this next one be the absolute perfect one. I don't know if I can recreate Rusty Wallace's flip almost exactly perfectly like I did. I have faith in this one. Nope, this one ain't happening. Yeah, Rusty Wallace's 1993 Talladega flip that I reenacted. I think I might do a re-edit of that at some point. There's some earlier reenactments I did where I really like the wreck itself, but I'm not proud of my, uh, <clears throat> my camera control master work slash editing. I feel like I've gotten much better with the editing over time. So there's a few early reenactments I did I might 
do a re-edit of a reissue. Like, for example, the ones... That was before I discovered uh, the key control speed and the smoothing and what that really did for the CCM. So there's lots of uh, early reenactments where I did where I'm, where I'm zooming. Like, zooms in really quickly and stops. Zooms in really quickly and stops. Zooms in really quickly and stops. Just looks so unnatural. And the queen is fading fast. And flipping fast. <laughs> Earnhardt County, Tanner's Channel, Chantal Lopez, Dale Van Antwerp. It's <laughs> an interesting name. PhD, Raspante. I apologize if I mispronounce anyone's name. Phase DF. Trying to. Gary Johnson. <laughs> Jake Kaiser, DS Gaming. I think I got you already. Who else? With her to Bonnie. Hilo. Hello. <laughs> How is everyone doing? Dale Jr. fan, 88. Trying to... Trying to get you guys your shoutouts in between attempts. Deception Gamer. 4454. There's just one condition. If I give you guys a shout out, you just gotta promise you hit that like button. I got no problem doing so. <coughs> Excuse me. Sounded like Daryl Waltrip circa 2008 or 9 right around there. Do you guys remember when Daryl Waltrip got sick and he sounded like Satan? <laughs> Whoa, holy crap. Absolutely destroyed that car in pit road right there. Moive Hill. Whatever the heck that is. Bookity. 13th Rocket. The gamer dude. Yeah, I randomly saw that clip on some sort of compilation a few days ago that I had completely forgot about it. <laughs> Daryl Waltrip sounded like Satan. Yeah, he was sick, and for some reason Fox like was still made him commentate and didn't just tell him to like take the day off. No! I keep going way too far down to the inside. I'm down on pit road this time. Oh, yep, yeah, there it goes. Reverse. I was trying to get back into the track to cause a big one, but the great fireman. Try to get back up on the track to cause a massive wreck. But my reverse gear was dead. Hey look, I got Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, NASCAR just ain't gonna be the same without you there next year, buddy. Alright. Blown tire into the wall. Spins. Come on, get back up on the track. Nope. That was a hell of a save, though. The save isn't over yet, so keep it off the wall. There we go. Except even though I just saved it, I'm gonna do this. Boom. Because why not? Yay, high grip. High grip flips. <laughs> oh. We got more cars wrecking. Looks like Flywheel and Strip Weathers came flying past me. Alright, we still haven't gotten the perfect attempt yet that's worth saving. Yeah, I've gotten some decent ones, but the reason I haven't saved any is because I already have probably five or six attempts that none of which I've done in this video are any better than those ones. Oh accidentally nudged the joystick there and almost spun myself out. Oops. Jeez. That was a heck of a wreck. My T 
T-bone myself into the back of a car in pit road right in the driver's side door at like 150 miles an hour while floating through the air. Yeah, let's take a look at that, this replay. Comes down. Bam! I want to see that from that dude's point of view. Oh, come on. There we go. Rear. Here we go. This should be an interesting camera shot. Wait for it. Ah! Boom! <laughs> Next. Have I given up on the Richard Petty flip? No. I will never give up on any reenactment. I'm just trying to do some other highly requested videos for the first time before I do other ones like six times over. You know what I mean? Like that's why I've taken a break from the Austin Dillon one from a little bit. Even though that's basically like my holy grail. My uh, Excalibur of reenactments is the Austin Dillon flip. I'm just taking a break from that one because I believe I'm five or six parts in and there's just some other videos I want, I want to get to before I do 20 of a certain particular wreck. Oh, and that one. That one was doomed from the get-go. Hey, at least I flipped though. And took out like half the field right there. Hey look, let's slide into victory lane with a completely destroyed car. Like Terry Labonte in uh, 95, I believe it was. <laughs> At Bristol. Pulling into victory lane with a wrecked car. Next. <laughs> yes, I have to say it with that. The GN. Or like an H. There's an H in next, how I pronounce it. Whoops. Stupid C cleaner pop up came up on my computer, and me clicking off the game window just ruined that attempt, but gave me a hell of a cool accidental wreck. I haven't seen too many flips like that, and here comes Strip Weathers and absolutely destroys B Oil Changer. I don't know his first name. <laughs> That was a hell of a cool flip. Just not what I was looking for. I hit the wall, or I got airborne, and got drilled by another car, and that sent me barrel rolling. Where's TV? One. Here we go. I kind of stuck the landing almost. Next. Holy crap! Last I saw it was 24-14 uh, Rams, and now they're up by four points. It's 28-24 Rams. They got two touchdowns since the last time I glanced up at the TV. Damn. No kidding, game of the week. 28-24, there's still seven and a half minutes left in the third quarter. the wall. Nope, I'm going way too far down to the infield again. Good flips, it just needs to be back up on the track. Jeez. Is that 96? I'm like an encyclopedia of rollovers in like premier racing series. I was going to say the ending of that one looked like Mark Thompson, that Arca flip in I believe 96 at Talladega. The way he's kind of spinning and turning over, then slams down onto the back end to stop flipping. Next.
Oh. I think I saw Chick Hicks crashed on the side of the track. Nope. That one has failed from the get-go. Here we go. And boom. That's all I wanted to do. Just get T-boned at like 200 miles an hour. Next. Almost 45 minutes in, still not the perfect attempt, but just like I said, if I don't get the perfect attempt by the time of this part three video, I am... Whoa! There's an accidental flip. That Mac car clipped that slow car and then spun into me. Ow. I wasn't going to have too much damage from that until Carlo hit me. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, this, uh, the I car clips the slow car right there and then goes into me and then spins me. And I go right over him. And he just keeps going on his merry old way. <laughs> Nothing ever happened. Excuse me. That's kind of like Crafton's flip, except reversed. At least the way he got clipped and started to go up in the air. I swear to God, every single crash I ever do, I'm just trying to make a comparison to another real-life wreck that has happened. These reenactments are getting in my head. They're taking over my life. Start barrel rolling. Barrel roll. God damn it. There we go. I was going to say, at least I can cause a huge wreck and get hit by those cars. At least I got one of them. I think... That was the I-car. I got the last laugh. <laughs> Bam. How fitting was that? Next. Have you ever? No, I never. <laughs> Raw Gator released one of his, probably one of my favorite videos he's done to date. Like yesterday, the Danica one. If you've ever questioned Danica's driving ability, take a look right here. And then just it's clips of her wrecking over and over again. <laughs> oh my goodness. How the hell did he not start digging and start flipping again? That was weird how he was just kind of sitting there on his side, sliding that way before he went back on all four. Thought for sure, right there, I was going to start flipping again. <laughs> when is your next live stream? Probably tomorrow afternoon. I'm trying to do at least one a day in the afternoon slash early evening. If not two a day, one in the early afternoon and then early evening. Gator and NASCAR Nixon, the two kings of NASCAR memes. Next. Or why did I just say next? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I've said that way too many times. That's just in my head now. Jeez. That was a catch fence crash. Hope there was no one sitting in the front row right there, otherwise they just got a face full of shrapnel and debris. I start flipping decent, but then right there I get drilled and boom into the catch fence. 
Haven't had too many catch fence crashes this reenactment. Or this video, I should say. Bam! That was a solid hit. Went right through it. Next! There. That was the proper time to say it. Yeah, the second half of that looked like Austin Dillon's crash a little bit. Not the start of the flip, obviously. Shift right. Shift wrong. That's what it should be. Alright, yeah, that one was... That one was completely my fault. I don't know why I spun there. Try to get a few more shout outs in 8 bit enterprises and then after the next attempt. Whoops. That's gonna be a hard crash. Jeez. Holy crap. Someone call lightning an ambulance. Jeez. Alright, someone now just call a hearse. Someone just call the morgue. Alright, the Eagles. I should actually pay attention to this game. Alright, first and goal from the 12. I'm assuming they got a penalty. Yeah, I want to see this one. Where I accidentally was a little too jittery with the joystick and sent myself right into that inside wall. Bam. Now that, except for going backwards, was kind of like Steve Grissom, 1997. And obviously I was going a little bit faster there than Steve was. Oh, another practice session over already. Not time to restart. Got about ten more minutes worth of attempts. Then I'm going to do a few backwards intentional huge wrecks on purpose. See if I can get all every single car involved. And after that I got to get going. I'm going to do some work tonight. Third and goal for the Eagles. They're stalling. Where are they at? Where are they at? Where's the line of scrimmage? Oh, I thought I was going to hit the grass there and dig in and start flipping on the... Oh, they're at the two. It's actually got ten yards back. Oh, where is that holding? I saw Selleck being held. That's not who he threw to, but I still saw way too much contact. But no flag. Rams come up with a stop. Now the Eagles, are they going to go for it, or are they going to kick a field goal and make it a one-point game to make it 27-20? looks like offense is staying out on the field. They're trying to let the Eagles fly. Fly, Eagles, fly. Going for it. Wentz is in the shotgun. He's got four wide receivers. Single back. He's looking to his right. He looked at the flat route that was covered. He looks back to his left. Oh, he gets Brandon Marshall for the touchdown in traffic. Or not, uh, not Brandon Marshall. Alshon Jeffrey. That's right. Brandon Marshall went to the Giants. I was thinking of the wrong ex Bears receiver that used to torch the Packers for a couple of years. Yeah, that last attempt was no good. I was watching the game, but I could tell. Holy crap! He caught that thing with, like, his fingerprints. The, it was, like, tippy, tippy tips of his fingers when it was otherwise, like, an inch off the ground. Holy crap. That was a hell of a catch by Alshon there. Oh, we're going way towards the infield. That's no good.
Yeah, at least I took out one other car. There we go, victory lane with a wrecked car. Shades of Terry Labonte. <laughs> Damn. Game of the week, no kidding. Talk about a shootout. It's 31 to 28 in the third quarter ain't even over yet. Oh yeah, I did record. Not with a good camera, it's just on my cell phone watching the game. But I did record my uh Reaction to the end of the Packers game today, I'll probably have that posted later. I know it was sad enough that they almost got beat by the Browns, but it was still an exciting game that they won in the end. As much as the Packers have sucked in the last eight, nine, ten weeks, the fact is they're still somehow, they have a hope, a little tiny sliver of playoff hopes. Have an above 500 record and possibly have Rodgers coming back next week. No, the Packers haven't been great, but if that doesn't make Packers haters a little nervous, I can guarantee they'd be lying. Holy wreck. Jesus Christ, what just happened there? I was spinning backwards towards the infield, tipping with the weight shift and the increased grip, and I went right into that Armco, that steel barrier Got stuck in it for half a second, and boom. End up on my lid. Next. All right, yeah, about five more minutes worth of attempts. Like I said, I already got like six or seven replays saved. So if I don't get a good one here, I'm probably just going to start editing the best clips from those various replays and edit it as closely together towards the movie camera shots as possible. So I think part three. For certain reenactments, I'm not going to do higher than a part three. Damn it, that time I actually got some decent barrel rolls. I was too far down off the track again. It's a mixed blessing, though, because the only... Most of the reason I'm only getting those, uh, those good barrel rolls because I'm digging into the grass. If I'm up on the track, there's no grass to dig into, obviously. Yeah, since my original Lightning, ah, the part one to this video, the Can I Recreate Lightning McQueen's Cars 3 wreck, that one I believe peaked out at 475 live watchers, which was a complete fluke. I acknowledge that. Was everyone thinking it was probably actual Cars 3 clips? Holy crap, I was that close to getting almost destroyed by that. That one dude. Oh. Well, there's one way to get into victory lane in style. <laughs> I was gonna absolutely drilled by that dude while I was in midair. Whoops. Different camera view. There we go. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, it's probably gonna be the third to last attempt. Sadly. Yeah, that uh that record of four hundred and seventy five live viewers. I have not gotten close since that. I think I got it in like one or two hundred in part two and then like maybe another like the Dynaco four hundred big one. I think I might have gotten in the couple hundreds that's uh, but yeah, I've never Never gotten close since that 475 to hitting that many live viewers yet. But you'd think having 22,000 subscribers, I'd get more than like 30 or 40 live viewers per stream, but I think a lot of those are, not a lot, but maybe some of those are bots or and or spam accounts. 
considering a shitload of my video views came from a, f a select few viral videos that have a few million views each. But still, I love streaming for you guys. Even if I only have one person watching, that still won't make it any less fun for me. Whoa, whoa! Second to last attempt, even though I know that last one wasn't really good at all. I just realized my engine was ruined, not ruined, damaged from hitting the wall there, so I'm not going nearly as fast as I should be to be able to get airborne. Oh, there goes Todd Gurley. There goes Todd Gurley. Holy crap, breaking tackles. Good 25, 30 yard scamper. I feel bad for uh, Jeff Fisher, that longtime St. Louis Rams slash Los Angeles Rams head coach. Just a terrible head coach his entire career, just sub 500 records every year. The very season after he gets fired, the Rams all of a sudden become amazing. <laughs> it's not like they just got all new people in the team. It's like the same personnel for the most part. I'm assuming they got like different schemes and coaching tactics and whatnot, but I refuse to believe just one head coach made that huge of a difference in the team sucking and being really good. How must he feel right now? The Rams were in the Super Bowl. I take over as head coach. They have sub-500 records for like an entire, like a decade and a half. I'm fired. Like two months after I'm fired, they start doing amazing. <laughs> Oh, is Wentz out? DS Gaming? I didn't even see that he went out. I've been paying, like, really little attention to this game. Another Rusty Wallace-like one right there. Ouch. Jesus. If that was a real-life crash, and there was a real driver in there, that landing would shatter your back. I don't care how strong the seats are and how safe the seats are. Landing down after a flip that solidly just down onto the frame like that would totally screw up your brain. I mean, just look up Amarola. He fractured a vertebrae just from T-boning uh, Logano slash Danica and then having the car hop like four feet into the air and then slam down like four feet into the air. Four feet down from the air. Let alone like the 10 or 15 this car was. Alright, one last attempt. Then I'll do a few backwards crashes on purpose. Then I guess in my free time the next few weeks, I'll start trying to edit the clips. Start trying to edit the McQueen crash with all the clips I have saved. Just make with the resources I have available. Yeah, I completely missed Wentz going to the tunnel. Nope. Oh, darn it. I was going to hit by those. All right. So now we'll just do a couple giant, massive, big wrecks on purpose going backwards to see how many cars we can get involved. And then I will sign off for now until the next time. Which I believe the... Can I recreate? I'm doing tomorrow. I believe I've scheduled as uh, Matt Crafton's... 2017 Daytona Flip Part 2. Trying to get more and more ones I've already tried once or twice, done and off the table and finally edited and over with once and for all. Alright, so like usual in these backwards big ones or mother of all big ones, otherwise known as BBOs or Moabos. usually go the backwards uh, wrong way down pit road and try to spear them, flank them coming out as they're uh, coming into the trioval out of turn four. And this time will be no exception. Chick Hicks is in the lead. Look at that. Pole position for Chick Hicks. What a hick. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, the wreck that spawned the Kaz Grala meme. Oh my gosh, someone flipped. <laughs> Another funny raw gator video. Congrats to him. I had, I had ideas to do kind of videos like that a while ago, but I was always too lazy and never got around to it. He beat me to the punch, now he's made a cool channel out of it. I tip my hat to you, sir. Raw Gator. Now that's a bad crash. Propped up on the safer barrier in the inside wall. Alright, let's take a look at that replay. Jeez, holy crap. Rest in peace, chicks. Ah, uh, chick. We got so much crashing and carnage going on. My start, starting to have a little bit of frames for second issues. Nothing bad. Looks like it's dropping just a little bit below 30. Alright, let's try once more. I want to just get a few more cars. That one was absolutely devastating, but I want a little bit bigger pileup than it. Legs. My game. Since Joe Buck's commentating, he was probably the first to let you know. No flags on the play! <laughs> I want someone to sit Joe Buck down and explain to him. Hey, Joe. Unless you specifically say otherwise, I'm just going to assume, if I don't see the little flag marker, that there's not a flag on the play. You don't have to, every single play, say, No flag on the play! I mean, I guess he needs a fucking catchphrase, right? But, my god. How someone's made a, made a living being a color commentator for the NFL when you're supposed to, like, give excitement and creativity into your calls when he's basically done the opposite his entire... He's gotten better. I will say, Joe Buck has gotten better over the years. But he used to be awful. He would give absolutely no emotion into his play calls whatsoever. The Super Bowl Giants versus Patriots, the David Tyree helmet catch. Literally still to this day the most exciting play in Super Bowl history. You listen to Joe Buck's commentary on there, you'd think it was a run up the middle for two yards, for two yards on first down on a week one game. And Eli Manning is under pressure. He is sacked, no wait, he escapes, he rolls out to the left. He throws it up in the air. It is caught by David Tyree. First down, Giants. Literally the most exciting play in Super Bowl history, and he calls it like it's a run up the middle for two yards in a week one game. All right, I'm done ranting about Joe Buck while doing my Moabo. <laughs> Let's see one look at this one. Bam! I got Hick again. Ah, uh, Chick Hicks. I keep saying Hick. Freudian slip, my last name. <laughs> Close. Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. Looks like I'm going to be trying to edit the wreck together with all the clips I have. And it looks like there's a, yep, there's a, they're reviewing a touchdown call for the Rams. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Let me know your suggestions for videos you want to see me do in the future. Down in the comments below once the live video is done processing. Go follow me on Twitch if you want to watch the live streams that way. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter if you want some bonus notifications for when I go live and also some behind-the-scenes stuff related to my channel. And finally, if you guys want to be super awesome and help support this channel, help support these videos, and get some cool goodies in return, please go check out my Patreon page. Thank you so much to Ryan Fitzy and Tommy Joyce for your diehard support on there. I really appreciate it. And the links to everything I just mentioned are down below in the description. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks again for watching. Hope to catch you all next time. Until then, I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Peace. Bye.